we'll set that to the side. Now we're ready to go on to the final stage of the mayfly, which is the spinner. For the tails, we're going to use Betts as tailing fibers. The body is goose biot. The wings are zing wing. And then we can have some eyes on there. We'll have a little shell back of medallion sheeting. And then, of course, our deer hair legs. Now, the eyes serve two purposes. One, it's going to make your fly look better than anybody else's fly. Plus, it looks like the natural, because once the natural gets to the spinner stage, the eyes generally get bigger. And when that is real important, is if you to take, take your fly out and look at it at a fish's eye view, which is looking at it at arm's length from the underside. By putting the monofilament eyes on there, you can definitely see them. So let's tie this little critter. Here again, we're going to tie with the TMCO 101 hook. Use our ADOT thread. We're going to start our thread up in the thorax area. Here again, we'll use Betts' tailing fibers. Probably some of the best dry fly tailing materials around, which Umpqua distributes. Pull those off. Then we're going to measure the length. And unlike the done stage, we're going to want these tails to be at least one length, and then half a length again longer. That just makes it look more like the natural because the tails are actually one and a half to two to three times the length of the hook body. Now as I wrap back, I'm pulling back on the tailing fibers, making sure it stays right on top of the hook shank. Now for myself, I don't like to do a figure eight through them or have a split tail. All I do is just take a turn of thread underneath it and lift up and lock it down and the fibers naturally splay out. Trim off our excess and now we're ready for our body. And for the body material I'm going to use a goose biot. And again we're going to want this notch to be towards the back so when we wrap it forward we have a nice smooth body. So we'll moisten it before we tie it in. We'll tie it in tip first advance our th thread forward. Again, take that first wrap with your hand, grab it with your hackle pliers, and start to wrap forward. We do not want that little fuzzy rib on this one. Then we'll just wrap it until we get up to the thorax area, just like so. Tie it off. And we'll cut off that excess. I mean, just from that picture alone, you can see why I like to use biot so much for my body material. It just looks more like a natural insect's body. And then we'll advance our thread just to right behind the eye of the hook. And then what we're going to do is tie in our eyes. So we'll grab some monofilament here, set our scissors down. And we'll burn some eyes here. I like to just use regular old fishing line. And then what you can do later is come in and use a magic marker to color them if you like to. So what I'll do is come back up, tie the eye in right behind the eye. Make sure it's tied in there well cut it off, and then we'll tie in the other eye. Tie it in, just like so. Trim off our excess. Now we're ready to tie in our wing case material. For that we're going to use medallion sheeting. As you can tell, I use this stuff for just about everything. It's really some amazing material. 
and we're going to tie it in right where we tied off our biot. Just so it wraps around the hook shank. Just like so. Now we're ready for our legs or hackle. For that we're going to use the deer hair. And grab it by the tips and clean out the under fur. Once we get that done, we're going to put it in our hair stacker to even up the tips and give it a few taps. Now the tips are nice and even. Then we'll turn it around. Then we're going to measure the length of it. We want the length of the legs to be the length of the hook shank. It will come in on the side away from us. Take a loose wrap, kind of push the deer hair on the underside. Come up and around, back down, and cinch it. Pull down on your thread. And just tie it down nice and tight there. Take a few more wraps. Then we're going to flip it upside down here. Trim off the excess deer hair. Make sure those are all cut out of there. Just like so. And then we'll pull the deer hair down. Again, just like the other previous flies, create a deer hair post on the underside of the fly. And then we'll come up with our finger and just push it up. So it splays out just like a parachute hackle. And then we'll take a couple turns of thread right through the middle of it. Now we're ready for our winging material. For the wing, what we're going to use, it's called Zing Wing. This is one of John Betts's materials. Can't, we can't use the medallion sheeting on this for our spinner wings because it tends to twist the fly. So we'll take a little strip of our zing wing, just like so. And we're just going to set it right in the middle of that deer hair. And we'll do a series of figure eights right over the zing wing and the deer hair, just like so. Take one figure eight. Pull on the wings to make sure they're nice and even on both sides. Just do a few more figure eights in there. Separating the legs and making sure that wing doesn't come untied. Then we'll advance our thread forward to right behind the eyes. Pull the deer hair back a little bit. Straighten out them eyes a little bit. Then we'll take that wing case, bring it over the top, tie it down right behind the eye, several turns. And then we'll bring our thread right, right in front of the eyes. And then we'll bring that wing case material right between the eyes and tie it down. This is where some long fingernails come in handy is to pull them eyes out of the way. Just like so. Now we're ready to trim off our wing case material. And we're ready to whip finish it off. Trim off our thread. Pull these wings straight up. Angle them back a little bit. And we're going to trim them to about the length of the hook shank. And then round them off so they look more like the natural. Might have to turn it a little bit there so I can see it. 
like so. And what I like to use this particular deer hair spinner for is the Acalabata spinner. And since they have such a mottled wing, we can just take a magic marker, waterproof magic marker. This happens to be by design. Let's put a few little brown dots on the leading edge of it. And it looks a little bit prettier in your fly box. Just like so. And if we want, we can also color the eyes a little bit, just to darken them up. And then we'll flip this thing upside down. Kind of spread out our deer hair. And if we've got a few scragglers, take those off. Just like so. Now we're ready to reinforce it a little bit with some Dave's Flex Cement. We'll just put a little drop right on the thorax there. Then we'll run a little bit on the legs. And as I do that, you can see the little droplets that form. And if you want to add a little bit more, just take some head cement on your bodkin. Just barely touch the deer hair fibers. Just creates a great illusion of some trapped air or water bubbles sticking on to the legs of your fly. Just making it look a whole lot more natural. Close up our glue and you're done. Let's flip it back over. Push your deer hair into place. Make sure our legs are where we want them. And there we have the last stage of the mayfly, our, the deer hair spinner. <laughs>